Your CV or your resume is way more than a piece of paper. Think of this, if you have the right CV or the right resume, you will be going to interviews in a better position to negotiate what it is that you want to achieve. A good CV, a good resume will give you way more opportunities. So make sure you take the time to write the right one. I'm gonna show you now what it is that you need to include your CV and how you need to structure the CV and the resume. The first half page of your CV is the most important thing. You need to create an impact to make sure that the person reading your CV will keep reading and will finish reading all the information you have shared in your CV. So first you need to include your name and the job title you are applying to. Start with your full name and the job title for the position you are applying to. For each job application, you will need to have one specific CV. Number two, contact details. Add your contact details, phone number, email address, home address, depending in which country you are. Finally, make sure that you're including your LinkedIn profile because most people check do a cross check between the CV and LinkedIn. So make it easy for that person and include your LinkedIn profile. Also include your GitHub link or your GitLab link and a web portfolio where you can share all the projects that you're working on. Three, professional background. In no more than five lines, explain how your experience matches the key requirements of the job you're applying to and highlight the knowledge you have about the industry. Point number four, work history. Explain how you work and how you achieved goals. Follow this structure. Job title, company, time frame. List only the jobs that are related to the job that you are applying to. Start the list with your current job and if you are not working at the moment, with your most recent job. After that, describe how you work, how you achieved goals, how your team was conformed, the projects and products you are working on, and how you have helped the team and the company bring solutions to their challenges. Point number five, education. Make a list of the degrees, courses, and certifications that are most relevant for the position you are applying for. Skills. Make a list of the skills that are relevant for the job you are applying for. Include your skill level. Next to each of them, say if you are a beginner or an expert. Always make sure they are up to date. Finally, it's not too much about how many pages a CV needs to have, but what it is the information you are sharing with them. Again, it's very important that you are tailoring each CV or resume for each job application you are doing. LinkedIn is the most powerful tool you can have nowadays. It's the best tool for you to find the best job opportunities, but even better is the best tool for the job opportunities to find you. So you need to make sure you have a very well written LinkedIn profile. Why? Because you need to understand how recruiters and how hiring managers look for candidates on LinkedIn. That's why I'm going to share with you how you need to write your LinkedIn in each section of it. Having a good LinkedIn profile is an open door for opportunities. People might be able to find you even if you are not looking for a job. People might come to you with the best opportunities to you even without you looking for a new job. And that's why your LinkedIn profile needs to be done properly. First of all, include a good photo. Make sure it's a photo of yourself. People can see your eyes and smile. It's up to date. You are alone in the picture. And also you enable the settings to allow second and third connections to see the photo. People engage with human beings and it's important that they can see you and who you are. It's quite awkward when you see the LinkedIn profile of someone and you can't see the person and you can't see the photo. Write a clear header. It should be something easy to understand. Keep it simple. You want people to know what you do straight away. Explain in detail what you do. For example, if you are a full stack developer, in your header you can include something like this. Full stack developer using Java, Springboard and React. 
Make sure you have the right location for the job that you want to apply. If you are looking for a job in New Zealand, in Auckland, make sure that your LinkedIn profile mentions that you are in New Zealand and that you are in Auckland. If you are open to relocation, include one or two cities that you are considering. Write an appealing about section. Share with your network how you are going to add value and solve problems. Start with what you are doing now and have been doing lately. Explain what you do, how and why you do it. In your work experience, make sure you put all the details. First of all, make sure that when you are naming the company you are working for, is including the LinkedIn web page. Also, make sure that your location aligns with the location of your header. Keep your job title simple so that people understand what you do. Explain in depth what the goals of your role and responsibilities are. Give examples of how you add value to the team and company and what your achievements have been. Mention the size of the team and the different roles you've been interacting with on a daily basis. Education. Include your qualifications, your technical and soft skills, and the languages you speak. Having a strong LinkedIn profile has many benefits. It helps you build your professional brand, rank your name on Google, do networking, and be found by opportunities. 